Hello and welcome to It's Storytime Kids. Today we're going to read Meg's Christmas by Jan Pienkowski and David Walzer. Now I'm sorry if I pronounced those names incorrectly but there we go it might be Jan but I think it's Jan Pienkowski. Might have pronounced that wrong. David, I'm pretty sure that's how you say that name, but Walzer could be Valsa. So anyway, Meg's Christmas. I hope you enjoy this one, kids. Meg's Christmas. I might have to just change it slightly. There we go. Meg's Christmas. All oh, their names again. Jan Pienkowski and David Walser. Our pipes burst. There's water everywhere. And it's Christmas Eve. Oh no. Will it dry out? It will take some time. <laughs> there's even a goldfish swimming in what we assume is the kitchen because look, there's a cauldron. Ooh. Find us somewhere dry to stay. But bring us home for Christmas Day. Meg made a spell. Meg made a spell. Find us somewhere dry to stay, but bring us home for Christmas Day. <gasps> the water's rising. Her fix obviously didn't work. The spell took them to a castle. Not quite what I had in mind. Wow! Whoop, 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 whoop. That's me attempting to do an owl hooting, kids. Feel free to join in yourself. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Hoot, hoot. But it definitely says woo woo because WH is hoo hoo, I think. Hello, Sir Knight. Welcome. It does look beautiful. Oh, and look, the cat is question marking. He's thinking, what is going on? I think the cat's called Mog. Dinner was served in the Great Hall. Great in this context means big kids. In the olden days, he used to call the main hall the Great Hall. So a lot of stuff flying around. Dragons and whatnot. Some sort of stag. That's definitely a dragon. There's a bat. Here's your room. Let's hang up our stockings. Yeah, Mog bought a stocking. It was time for bed. Hoop hoo. That night, nobody slept. Ho ho. I can hear a ghost. There's no such thing as ghosts. Perhaps it's Father Christmas. Ooh. It was Christmas Day at last. Can't we go home? It must be dry by now. And we've invited friends. Farewell. Thank you. 
Happy Christmas! Oh look, the sky's gone pink! Meg, Mog and Owl flew home. We've got lots to do! They decorated the tree for their Christmas party, just in time. Ah, they've done a great job, haven't they kids? And look, it's not flooded. That's a relief. Oh, happy Christmas. Look who's arrived. Look, all her witchy friends. They all look the same though, they're all dressed in red. One, two, three, four people coming to spend Christmas. Aww. They all sang carols together. Silent night. <laughs> Judging by Mog's, Mog's expression, they're not doing it very well, are they? Silent night. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Happy New Year. Well, I'm recording this in April. It's almost Easter. This is not season appropriate, but who knows when you're going to be watching it. Meg's Christmas. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, these Meg and Mog books, I'm pretty sure I read them when I was a teeny tiny little girl, so I very much enjoy them. Thank you for joining me and you take care now. Bye kids.